Just as the creation of a mosaic involves many elements, conceptualizing, designing, planning, color and composition, manual skill and labor, so too the creation of a community art project incorporates elements of collaboration, sharing resources, envisioning, building, and learning. They also have this in common. They're fun, rewarding, and they contain multiple levels of meaning. My name is Scott Gordon Wills. I'm an artist living and working in Chicago. Recently, I've been working with repurposed and reclaimed materials with a concentration on exploring plastics as a medium for making mosaics and other large-scale public works. I'm interested in trying ways to reincorporate cast-off materials into our living spaces as art and foster awareness of their ubiquitous presence in our environment. Sculpture has been the matrix of my work as an artist. I began by learning and using traditional materials such as stone, wood, bronze, and other metals. I became interested in incorporating light with sculpture and began to change direction in my work to a much more abstract vision. Exposure to other cultures and their art-making traditions sparked my interest in such media as paper mache basketry, and fiber. My own concepts of imagery began to change as a result. In my practice as a graphic design professional, working mostly with nonprofit organizations, I learned firsthand the unifying power of universal symbols and of art in public spaces. I also learned how to see a large-scale project through to its completion. Teaching at the Art Institute of Chicago and the Chicago City Colleges taught me the value of hands-on experience for students and the community-building benefit of collaborative projects. My exploration of traditional materials led me to Mexico. There, on a footpath near the town of Ajijic, I discovered my next art form, the plastic bottle caps that lay underfoot. What began as an informal neighborhood cleanup evolved into adapting plastic packaging materials to the ancient art form of mosaic. Along the way, I gained a new awareness of plastics in our global environment. In the course of my experimentation with my new medium, I explored computer-assisted design, pointillist color theory, and pattern creation. I adapted some of the tools, materials, and techniques I'd used for paper mache to the mosaic process. Borrowing ideas from my earlier work with light sculpture, I incorporated light into my mosaics. What really drove the bottle cap mosaic project was community participation. Recognizing the need for a large volume of plastic caps, I put the word out with flyers, phone calls, emails, and makeshift collection stations. And people responded, so much so that many told me that their awareness had changed. They would actively look for and gather discarded plastic from their environment, amazed by the sheer volume that had been right under their feet. It was encouraging to witness these changes in consciousness and habits. Eventually, I was receiving bottle cap donations from all over the continental United States and Canada. My little studio filled up, and I rented a storage space to give me room to work. Student interns and volunteers helped with the laborious task of sorting bottle caps by color and size, cleaning and preparing them for use in mosaic compositions. People were really delighted by the finished mosaics and by the video documenting the project. 
What pleased them most of all was the fact that they had each participated in the creation of a new work of art and that it truly belonged to the community. So far, all of the mosaics have been placed on display in common areas where people work and play. People of all ages, backgrounds, and skill levels can participate in a community bottle cap mosaic art project. There's a place for everyone, organizing, site scouting and securing, gathering resources, helping to generate ideas, making the artwork, and sharing in the outcome. Along the way, they learn a bit about ecology, natural history, working with shapes and colors, art history, recycling and conservation. They become better stewards of our beautiful planet.